in this first game, I'm playing with the German club, Hoffenheim. They've got two German Americans on their team, Fab Johnson and Danny Williams. And I'm going up against Leon and ah, in the seventh minute of the game, I'm giving up a goal. Check out that celebration. Why is he running and flapping his hand like that? It's not that serious. Very good high pressure from my players to steal the ball right there in their box. And now I'm trying to respond with the counterattack of my own. I keep launching it up the field. That was a bad pass, but look, he just gives it right back. That's a mistake, and I know it. Give and go. I'm inside the box. It's blocked, but it's rebounded. It's the header cheddar. Camargo with the header cheddar. That came out so perfect that it, it looked like I did that on purpose. It looked like I threw myself a lob off the keeper. <laughs> And then look, I'm inside again with the bomb. Shot, clock, cheese. He's on splash alert. He's got two goals. Give that guy a chair. I need to get my shoes shined. And because he has a yellow card, it's like I have splash vision because it's, it's, you can't miss him. When you're out there on the field, you can't miss somebody with a yellow explanation mark, a yellow triangle right over their head. That, that's the splash vision. And look at this. First touch, first goal in the second half. The thirst is real. Igor Camargo dropping the splash with the yellow card. Anything could have happened. He could have got hit with the cheese. And this splash wouldn't have been possible, but I make it happen right at the start of the second half. He had to hustle to get that one. That's why I say the thirst is real. But I'm not done with him. I've still got time. And he did score another goal, as you see. He's got two goals now. But I'm going to the same guy and another rebounded goal. That's four goals with the same player. Give them the uppercut. Give them the superhero uppercut. That was a great game. It got me hype. And now I'm four and one in Division Four. In the next game, I decided to go with Stoke City. I said, why not let the American connection fly again? That was a good game. And I'm playing against Queens Park Rangers. I was doing a really good job until this play when my keeper tries to save it twice. But the second strike was too much, too fast, too quick. You know I got to respond. But my pass, I tried to turn around and get stolen again. And then, ah, uh, that was a huge mistake. Now he's just going to play around, get the pass off. That's great football on his part. Great passing. I'm down two goals. I've got to do something here now. It's in the second half. I still haven't scored. I steal that inbound pass, and I'm going to get it off. And I score, but they call a foul. That's some BS. That, that's some cheese. That, that's some murder. What am I going to do? I'm going to go for the header cheddar. I get the goal anyway. That's got me hyped. Now we're here in the 90th minute. The thirst is real. I need a tie. I need some shot, clock, cheese. I'm letting it fly out of bounds. Wow, the game is over. I'm taking a loss. So now I'm four and two in division four. In this next game, I'm playing with Inter Milan and I'm going up against Dortmund. I wanted to play with Javier Zanetti. He's old, but he's still going strong. And that's a nice pass. I was getting double, triple teamed. I said, let me just pass it and get the easy goal. I'm surprised that I've been able to put goals together like that. There's been a lot of progression. If you go back and watch the first couple of vids, I wasn't really executing like that. I mean, look, look at this sequence right here. Oh my goodness, I'm streaking. I'm on fire right now. I don't think I don't think the defense can stop me. Look, I'm making every move I need to make. I'm gonna cross it. That was beautiful. When you're on attack, especially a counter attack, you get into this zone where you just don't make mistakes. You execute, you make every right move, you anticipate, you're doing everything correctly. Your fingertips are just, it's making love to the controller. You're doing everything right. You're pushing all their buttons. And he gets the header chatter. And look at that. His jersey is the same color as my keeper. Now that's some cheese. I've been saying this for so many videos. 
In FIFA, the keepers need to have different colored jerseys so that this never happens. Because it looks like it's the same jersey. Oh, the bicycle kick. He almost equalized in the 90th minute with the shot clock cheese. I'm coming away with the win. Another good game. And that puts me just one point away from guaranteeing promotion to Division 3. So all I got to do in this game is get a tie. And I'm going to Division 3 no matter what. But you know I don't really play for ties. I'm trying to play for wins. Nice save right there by the keeper. And an even better save right at the goal line. And I did that manually. That was me that did that. I stopped that goal. I kept this game at 0-0. Zero, zero. But now I'm on the attack. That was a nice pass. But he just wasn't running the right way. See, I got my defender there. But I got him again with the move. So it's all good. You know I got to pass it inside. I control it. And I put the ball straight into the back of the net. That goal deserves a replay. I don't know how he controlled it. How he stopped that ball and then shot it so fast. That was nice. That doesn't happen often. Look at that. Just boom. No hesitation. The keeper, the keeper was surprised. He had no idea what to do there. And Oh. I'm giving up a penalty. Too aggressive defense right there. Now I'm looking like a noob trying to figure out which way he's going. And I guess correctly. It was meant to be. I was meant to be up by a goal. I guess correctly on the penalty kick. That doesn't happen often. But you know he's got to be mad. He's got to be thirsty. When you get a penalty kick and you don't score, the thirst is real. So in the 83rd minute, he ties the game. That was a great attack. I almost had it. I almost stole it, and then it was a loose ball. And ah. So look, I'm playing with him directly after that score. Look what I'm doing. I'm teasing. Just trying to get him to move just a little bit, just to lull him to sleep, to put that noob to bed, and it seems to be working. I get the pass off. It's a one-on-one. Taking the lead right back. I responded on the very next touch. You know he's got to be mad. And in the 90th minute, I'm going for the shot clock cheese, the give and go. I'm doing moves, and that's a penalty. Try to put yourself in his shoes. That has got to be rage-inducing because now I have a penalty kick, and I want to show him how it's done. I want to show him that you're not supposed to miss. He doesn't even – he didn't even try. He just gave up. He said it's over. That shot clock cheese, 90th minute goal. That win automatically guarantees promotion to Division 3. And for some reason, this next game, it didn't have any game audio. So I got to rock with the Chris Smooth soundtrack in the background. And look at that. I almost give up a goal that would have been embarrassing. I'm not off to a good start. I don't like the way this game started. No goals in the first half. We're in the second half. It's a defensive game. Look, look at this defense. I'm stopping all attempts, and that's a murder, but they don't call anything, so I knock it loose, but play is still going. Now he's inside the box, and I stop him with a sliding tackle. That was so risky. I could have given up a penalty kick so easily. That was clutch. Now we're in the 76th minute of the game. There's still no goals. We're both getting tired. We're both getting desperate. I'm making a move. I got him, and now he's going to give me a penalty. This is a game-changing moment. Neither of us have been able to score. Zero to zero, the 77th minute. I could do it right here with the penalty kick, and he doesn't move as well. That's two opponents in a row that don't even move. They think I'm going down the middle. I take that win. I'm going to Division Three with a 7-2 and two record. Let's get it popping. I'm playing with Russia in this next game, going up against Brazil, and you won't believe what happens here. That's a murder. You got to give him a red. That was brutal, straight from behind. Ooh, he could have he messed up a knee something. So now, from early on in the game, this guy is down a man, and we double team him. I get the steal, and it's a counter attack. Now I'm trying to put the moves on him. I'm going to do the give and go. That's my favorite move. Oh, look what happened there. What? I don't know what happened. He's bringing out the keeper. Come on, cuz. That's a new move. You can't do that. You can't bring out the keeper 
every time somebody's coming out, and that's not the only time he does that. He does that all game long. I caught on to his moves. I knew he what he was going to do. Look, he's going to do it here again, so I'm going to pass it off again. It's the same goal, the same kind of goal. I got to shush him. This is the first game in Division Three, and it's making me wonder, is this how people play? Maybe that's a tactic. You know, Maybe the reason why he's doing that is because it works. So I'm prepared. I, I don't care. If he's going to do that, I'm just going to make the simple pass. Here we go. Now, this is a 1v1, but I said, ah, let's get it to the middle. And the keeper had a chance there, but I'm just beasting and feasting in this game. I'm laying the smack down with Russia. Russia's not playing around. He actually did score a goal, but we're here in the 90th minute. You don't want to see him score a goal. You want to see me? Oh, that's a new move. Ha, ha, ha. That is a new move, and then he just decides to rage quit in the 90th minute. The game was going to be over. Why not just stick around? Whatever. That's my first win in Division Three. I'm doing well.